Okay, so today I'm going to show you guys how to make an omelette. Um, this is a really basic and easy way to do it. Um, and it's only one of two that you can be taught in here. Um, Westbrook's way is a little bit different, and it works. Although, I don't prefer it. Okay, so to get started, what I have in here is I have a pinch of salt and about a tablespoon of milk. Um, just estimated by the eye. So you're going to crack your eggs in. Of course we're out. Okay. So when mixing up the egg, you can use two utensils, the fork or the whisk. I prefer the fork because you have a better handle on it and it's a lot easier to clean. Okay, so now that I have my pan slightly heated, as you can see my heat's on low, that'll get the butter going a little bit faster. If you so desire. Nice. It's a good thing I sanitized this before I started. Okay. Mm. The smell of America. Okay. So while it's all foamy like this, you want to pour your eggs on. Does anybody know why? It creates an air, like air pockets underneath. Okay, so now you want to turn it up just a little bit, just to get it cooking. The way that Westbrook does it is she scrapes from the sides into the center while it's cooking, and that's to get like all the as you can see, it's still runny. That's just to get that um, away. And supposedly, I think it's supposed to help it cook faster, right? But I like my way of just letting it sit. Seems to work really well. And then, as you can see, all the bubbles are coming up right now, which is a good sign. That's what you want. You don't want your egg to just sit there because that means it's either stuck to the pan or it's burnt. So all these little bubbles are actually really good. Who knows how to flip without a spatula or a scraper? No. Who can perform it? Okay. Don't lie. Don't lie. I've seen you. It's not quite there yet. See how it's all gooey here? Yeah. If you try and flip that, I will shoot egg all over you guys. It's probably not what you guys would enjoy. If you're using one egg, no. I don't them. I make them and I don't flip them. They just cook all the way it must take forever. No, it's like four minutes and I'm done. <laughs> so, the good thing about this part being a little bit darker is that it's not going to be shown to the eye because when you lay it out, your outside, what's being cooked right now, is what's going to be displayed. So, if you're doing it for 
presentation purposes, you should still be fine. But if you're doing it for taste, that's up to you how you like it. A lot of people like to fold their egg over. That's hot. Um, in the pan. I like to do it with the pan. And ta-da, presentation still looks okay-ish. It's not too bad. And I'm sure it's going to taste good.